Okay, good afternoon, everyone. Welcome into the Media Center at the Kings Mill Championship presented by GEICO. We have Natalie Golbus here with us. Thank you for joining us, Natalie. Thank you for having me. Yeah, Natalie, this is your 11th start at Kings Mill. How does it feel to be back here this week? I love this place. I have so many incredible memories from this Kings Mill Resort when it was previously Michelob Ultra. Not only was I here for the event, but I was also here doing extra events. And then I came back last year and shot a TV show here. And I just, I love coming back here. My favorite thing about Kings Mill is probably my host. I've had the same host family since I started playing in this event and just everything about this place. It's so beautiful and just we get such an incredible welcome from the community here. You've played well here in the past as well. A couple top 10 finishes. What do you like about the river course? It was just set up perfectly for us. I know that they've made changes over the years that just seem to cater to LPGA players. The conditions, the greens always roll so good. Um, I hit a right to left trajectory, so there's plenty of right to left holes. But I just, I love being here. It's just an area that I've always enjoyed. This area is extra special for me. My caddy is from Virginia Beach. So it was just always a place that we love to come to and spend time at. And it just always had that great energy for me. You just finished playing in the Pro-Am this morning. It's a little wet outside, but how's the course look this week? It's pouring out there. I don't know if you guys <laughs> can hear it. Actually, maybe now it's taking a break, but it was absolutely dumping um, a few minutes ago. It was, it's good. I mean, this course drains really, really well, but it, it, was, it was pretty wet still. Not the course, but just in general for the last few holes. And I know that this week has a lot of weather in the forecast, so it'll be really interesting to see how, I mean, the course will hold up, but with thunderstorms, it could be a very, very interesting week. So to this year, you've battled some injuries through the years. You have said you've contemplated retirement. You made the cut at, in L.A. How much of a confidence boost is that to be playing well? Yeah, I've had, um, I mean, I've been out here so long. I think I've seen a little bit of everything. But I hit the ball really well in L.A. I feel great. This is as good as I've felt in the last five years, probably as good as I've felt in my whole career. Um, I had another surgery in October, which was successful. And what's been different in this last few months is I've been able to practice. I played a lot of years out here without being able to play practice rounds with just barely getting through programs and getting through tournament rounds because I loved to be out here and I love to play. And so I would just try to save my body for competition, but it's been nice to be able to actually practice and, and go out and play rounds and be able to practice even after a pro-am and that's something that I look forward to and I'm going to be playing quite a bit in this next couple months. Great. Okay, we'll open it up for questions. Please raise your hand and we'll bring a microphone around. We'll start with Brett Lasky. Um, Natalie, I thought one of the cool things earlier this week was Elsa Diaz came in here um, and she spoke about, you know, you guys have talked and, and you sort of have tried to help her along and she talked about, you know, wanting to um, not only be a good golfer, but also good off the course as well. Um, what, what sort of your, uh, I guess, advice for a young player like that, that that wants to excel both on and off the golf course? Well, she was great because she asked great questions and um, approached me right away. And that's something that I resonated with because that's what I was like when I came out on tour. And I remember being so excited to see Beth Daniel and Meg Mallon and Julie Inkster and ask them a thousand questions. And so my advice is to just take all of everything that golf has to offer and just appreciate it because golf offers, and I was actually talking about this morning, a couple of veteran players, but through the game of golf, the opportunities and the people that I've met has just been like nothing I ever could imagine. I had aspirations of turning pro and playing against the best players in the world, but as soon as I got out here, I learned that we would get to be around all these different individuals who were in every area of life from lawyers to politicians to celebrities to business minded to heads of big charitable organizations and through the game of golf I've been able to open up a boys and girls club and be involved in so many incredible charities and just meet so many incredible people. and. If you just kind of keep your head down and just work on making putts when you're in a pro-am and not really take the opportunity to meet and to get to know these people, you'd be missing out on just some incredible experiences and some people that 
we all have had the privilege of meeting through the game of golf. Speaking of other opportunities, you were recently nominated for the President's Council of Sports, Nutrition, and Fitness. Can you tell us a little bit about that? Yes, I'm really excited about that. Um, in February, they asked if um, I would be interested, of course, yes. And then last week, right before Dallas, it got announced. They call you a couple days before the announcement and say that you've been um, approved for the council. And now it's going to get really exciting because we're going to get sworn in, or I'm going to get sworn in in two weeks, the week before Atlantic City, and we'll have our first uh, council meeting in D.C. and get to do this really cool sport day on the South Lawn. And it's just going to be an incredible honor and opportunity. But again, kind of what I just said is through the game of golf, the people that I've had the opportunity to meet and the impact that I've been able to have through the game has afforded me so many opportunities. And this is going to be one of the greatest honors and achievements in my career is to be on a presidential council for three things that I'm incredibly passionate about, sports, fitness, and nutrition. Go to the front row. You mentioned the opportunities that have been presented to you away from the golf course through your involvement in the game. Are those opportunities and those people, are they what have kept you around? You know, you've been through so much with the surgeries and such, and you've contemplated retirement. Is that why you, you've persevered? That's a great question. One, actually, a really good question, because I haven't really ever considered that, of why I have every year at the end of the year, and especially when I'm injured, I absolutely contemplate retirement because it is difficult for me to practice, and if I can't practice, I can't compete, and if I can't be in contention, it is zero fun for me. I would just play the game recreationally. But I even coming out for the event in L.A. or being out there in Dallas, I love everything about the tour. I love my friends on tour. I love being in front of the fans. I love the competition, I love the places that we get to go. I've been able to travel all over the world, so it really is everything. I love to compete, I love the game, but I love it all, and I think that that shows when I'm out here, because I do, I really enjoy seeing my friends on tour, and it's always such an incredible reminder of how amazing these players are, because when I'm around them, I'm reminded of how much Morgan Pressel gives back. She raises a million dollars through her charity. And players were leaving Dallas to go to another charity event and how much they give back and how much they're involved in their communities. And it's something that is you want to be part of. You want to continue to be part of it. And so there's a lot of reasons. And I miss a lot of things when I'm away from the tour. We'll go to the middle room. Uh, you mentioned that this course drains well, but when you have a tournament with a lot of rain, um, do you, does that change anything with your strategy or your approach over the course of the, of the weekend? Yes, it does. It changes changes a lot of things. Um, I think this is going to be a week of patience. It looks like we could have a lot of delays. We've had delays here in the past. The golf course is going to play quite a bit longer. Um, some of the strategy with paying attention to where greens are going to release and where maybe you're going to have targets off the tee, all that changes because you're not going to have the release and, and the rollout. And the course does does drain well, but based on how much rain, it can it can definitely change significantly. Go to Brett Lasky. Natalie, can you just elaborate on the, the host family story? I thought that was pretty cool that you stayed with the same. Is that right? You stayed with the same host family. H how'd you first get introduced to them, and what's that relationship been like? So... Um, it's a great story. The first time that I I came to Kings Mill, I stayed with Joe. He lives in the community. He actually caddied for me today in the Pro-Am for the first time. Nine holes, I used this small bag, and he was up at like 5 a.m. asking me a whole bunch of questions before coffee this morning. I started staying with Joe, and Joe is not only you know, somebody that I stay with here in Kings Mill. He is part of my family. He comes out to other events. He's someone that I stay in contact with. Now my mom is here this week. My husband's coming in tomorrow. Like, he'll stay here this week. My caddy, Greg, has um, who passed away last year. We actually had a, a memorial for him yesterday here in Kings Mill. But he stayed with us. So Joe is part of our family. He is – it's just everything about this week, he – as soon as we got here, he made fillets for us in the barbecue. He's making salmon tonight. Like, he knows all the food that we love, the coffee that we like. Um, when I got here, because we were having a service for Greg here, he, like, printed out this beautiful picture of Greg and I that he had, like, made. And 
It's just everything about this week because they become, it's not only that I'm coming to Kingsmill to a course I love in an area that I've always had a great time in or going to Bush Gardens or going to Colonial Williamsburg, but it's staying with him and it's something that's so special this week. I have great stories from Kingsmill. One year, this event is always around Mother's Day. One year, I bought my mom a car here and we put it in Joe's driveway and put one of those big bows on it and she walked out that morning and saw it was Mother's Day with, uh, it's like my third or fourth year on tour, and it like fell down the steps. So the next thing we knew is she had had the car and we have it all on film. And and then, you know, to fast forward to have a night like last night, that Joe was actively part of helping me put on this event for um, a celebration of life for my caddy, Greg, who's from this area. He was involved in all the details and helping me with things. And um, it just, it's like he, I don't think he's missed a hole or a shot that I've hit here. And so there's a lot of players here. This, a lot of players that stay in private housing in this area. This, this is a great community and has a lot of players, you know, are staying at home kind of right around where, where we're at. The front row. He also has a lot of stories about what I was like when I was 18, 20, 22, <laughs> all the different things that I've gone through as well. We should bring him in here. He, he's very, he's a lawyer though, so he's pretty like, He's not going to give up a lot. <laughs> Through the miracle of Google. So Greg was on Kathy Whitworth's bag over in Suffolk for her final tournament victory, which is not far from here. Were you, were you aware of that? No, or? I wasn't. I saw Kathy in uh, Dallas, but no, I was definitely not aware of that. You know more of the story? I'd like to hear the rest. No. Well, it, yeah, he, uh, he was out with, um, I mean, he won several times with, Beth Daniel and mm -hmm. dozens of times with Kathy Withworth and Christy Kerr and he him and I him and I worked together for 15 years. He never missed a day. So and he was from Virginia Beach, so it was cool because his family came in yesterday. 15 years. That's a long time. It is a long player. time. How did that happen? He's easygoing. We had got along great. How special was it to get to celebrate his life last night? It was amazing. Um, it was incredible because sportsman grill we got to they have you guys have ever been there they have like an lpga shrine there it's so cool of all the players through the years and caddies through the years and moments through the years and just to see the support from players and caddies that came there last night and it was really special i think it was really special to for his family to get to see and hear the stories and um that yeah, was awesome any further questions for Natalie? Okay, best of luck this week. Thanks for joining us.